Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to solve Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Paper 3 Core 0580 Variant 31 May June 2020. Let's start. Question number one. Gabriel designs the sitting layout for a new theater. There are three sections of seats A, B, and C. We have been given section A has 152 seats, section B has 12.5 percentage more seats than section A. Section C has 3 over 8 of the number of seats in section A. Show that the number of seats in section B is 171. B has 12.5 percentage more than 52. So we find 12.5 percentage of 152. Percentage means we divide by 100. So 12.5 over 100 multiply by 152 is 19. Now add 19 to 152 and you will get 171. In A2, show that the total number of seats is 380. We already have A and B. Now we want to find first C. C is 38 of the number of seats in section A of means multiply 38 of 152. Let's see what we will get. 57. So A plus B plus C should equal 380. 152 plus 171 plus 57. And when you add it, you will get 380. So we showed that. Part B, write down and simplify the ratio of the number of seats in each section, A, B, C. We have uh, A, B, and C. A is 152, B is 171, C is 57. Now we have to simplify it. Let's check here. All these numbers are not divisible by 2. I'm showing you an easy way here to do it. So because they're not all even. So let's try with 3. When we try with 3, this is not divisible. We have the number, let's say 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's not divisible by 2. It will not be divisible by any of the even numbers because the last numbers are odd. Trying with 3, it didn't work. 5, will not work. The reason 5 will not work is the end numbers are not 0 or 5. Let's try 7. 7 also does not work. Let's try 9. 9 also cannot, 152 divided by 9 gives a fraction. 10 will not work. What are the other numbers? We just try dividing the numbers with. So 152 divided by 11, it does not give us an answer. With 12, it doesn't give. With 13, we don't have an answer. So let's try the other numbers. Finally, you will realize that you can divide everything by 19. 152 divided by 19, you will get the answer 8. 171 divided by 19 is 7, and 57 divided by 19 is 3. It's a two mark question. You can just try your numbers at the side and see whatever gives you the answer. C. In section A, there are 12 seats in the front row. Each row has two more seats than the row in front of it. Work out the number of rows for the 152 seats in section A. So our first row has 12 seats. The second row has two more. So 12 plus 2, 14. Now total number of seats is 12 plus 20, uh, 14 will give us 26. Then you add two more. So it is 16. Now 26 plus 16 will give us 42. So we keep adding like that till we get 152. So till we get 152, whatever number we add, 12 plus 14, 26. 
26 plus 16, 42. 42 plus 18, 60. 60 plus 20, 80. 80 plus 22, like that, till 152. So how many rows are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 rows. I hope you understood. For a concert in the theater, the ticket prices are in the ratio ABC is 9, 7, and 4. A ticket for section C costs 6. Show that a ticket for section B will cost 10.5. There are two ways to solve it. One way is section C has been given to you. So write 6 divided by what part does C have? This is 9, 7, and 4. So C is 4. So divide by 4. Multiply by 7. We can write it either 6 divided by 4 over 7. And this will give us 10.5. This is one way of solving. The other way is a little longer. In that, you find out the total first. So, 4 parts out of, you add all the parts, 9 plus 7 plus 4 will give us 20. 4 out of 20 of the total price is 6. So what is the total? It will be 6 multiplied by 20 over 4. This will give us 30. Now to find B, how many parts does B have? 7 out of 20 parts. Multiply by 30, this will give you 10.5. To find the cost of a ticket for section A, A has parts 9. So 9 over 20, multiply by 30, you will get the answer 13.5. You can use the second method or you can use the first method. In the first method, we got the cost of the uh, C section, which is 6, divided by how many parts of C? 4. And how many parts of A? 9. This will also give you 13.5. Part 3, the table shows the number of tickets sold in each section. Section A, 120 tickets sold. B, 136. C, 30. Calculate the total amount received from the ticket sales. A very easy three mark question. Let's write down the cost of the tickets for section A, B, and C. Now we just have to multiply by the number of tickets sold. And we write the answer here. These are the answers we will get. And then you add it up. So $3,228. Part 4, the concert costs $4,500 to organize. Calculate the amount received from the ticket sales as a percentage of $4,500. So $3,228 divided by 4500 multiply by 100 whenever you want to find the percentage multiply by 100 and we will get the answer 71.7 percentage question number two the grid shows a point e and four quadrilaterals a b c d and the point a is here Write down the mathematical name of shape A. Very easy. It's a kite. Next, describe fully the single transformation that maps shape A onto shape B. You can see there is no change in the shape B, only it has been translated, it has been shifted. So, it's translation. And we have to write the translation in column vector. The top represents the change in x, which is horizontal, and y, 
which is vertical. If it's a positive, it moves to the right. And if it moves to the left, your x value is negative. If it goes up, your y is positive. If it goes down, y is negative. Choose any one point. Let's say we chose this. We have to see how it reached here. So we move to the right by 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's our x. And then, because it moved to the right, it's positive. And now we are shifting up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So our change in y is by 9 units. One other thing that helps is that whenever you are uh, solving and normally like 99.9 percentage, .9%, if it's a two mark question, it will be either translation or reflection. If it's a three mark, it will be rotation or enlargement so that is something to keep in mind okay the next one shape a onto shape c now this is clearly a reflection so we write reflection we get one mark for writing that and one mark for writing the mirror line it is reflected from this line if you see, there is one and a half units here, one and a half units here. So this point is x is equal to 0 0.5. Next part, shape A onto T. The size is the same. So now this is definitely going to be rotation. Writing rotation will give you one mark. Then you need to write the center of rotation and the degree it is rotated. Normally for core paper, the center is usually 0, 0. You need to have a tracing paper to do this. Draw the shape A and the axis, Y axis and X axis and rotate it. You will see that it is 90 degrees clockwise. And the center is 0, 0. Next, write down the coordinates of the point E. We always take the y, the x first, so negative 5. And then we go to the y-axis, which is negative 6. So this is the coordinate of the point E. C2 on the grid. Draw the image of shape A after an enlargement of scale factor 3, center E. So from E, we will draw at least three vertices, any three vertices, and join them by a line. I joined one. Now I'll join with this vertice. When you're joining, see that it passes through the squares like that. So you be careful with that part. So this is how we joined all the four vertices to point E. Now the scale factor is 3. We count the number of squares from each vertice to E. We got 2 here. So 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Make a point here. Then we go to the other vertice. This is 1, 2 and 3. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we have 1 here. 1 multiplied by 3 is 3, so 1, 2, and 3, this point here. The last vertice, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 multiplied by 3, 12. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now we join the four points together. And this is our enlarged kite. Question number three. The diagram shows the net of a triangular prism on a one square centimeter grid. A, write down the mathematical, mathematical name for the type of triangle shown on the grid. 
For that, let's count the number of squares. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this, all the three sides are equal. It means it is an equilateral triangle. Three B one. Measure the perpendicular height of the triangle. This is your perpendicular height. So we have one square, one, two, three, four, and it's a little bit above four. So you can write four point two as your answer. But anything between four point one to four point five is accepted. Calculate the area of the triangle B two. For the area of the triangle, we need to write the formula half times base times height. Our base is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We already counted that before. And height is 4.2. Let's see what we get. We will get the answer 10.5. Any answer between 10.25 to 11.25 is accepted. So area is 10.25, uh, sorry, 5 square centimeter. Next, calculate the volume of the triangular prism. To find the volume of a prism, we either, uh, uh, we can just uh, write the area of the cross section multiplied by the length. Area of the cross section is the area of the triangle which we already found, which is 10.5 multiplied by the length. This is our length, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This will give us 63. So our volume is 63 cubic centimeter. Again, your answer can be between 61.5 to 67.5. This brings us to the end of this video. For question number four onwards, please watch part two.